Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing video and today I have a very special unboxing as you can see right here. This is the Babe denim pants that I have right in front of me and it comes in this big ass bag. This bag as you can see is typically used for packing hoodies and so for this one because of its size, yep they went with this big bag, dust bag. Pretty standard dust bag as always, no complaints there. And from the back, you already can see that denim right there. Okay, let's get straight to the unboxing. I believe this is the only vape denim pants unboxing on YouTube. I could be wrong, but who knows. But since I got it, um, this was released, I believe, in the middle of August. Yeah, middle of August and it comes in two variations one is this blue one and the one that was released i think in the last week of august which had the print the eight face print in white and it was a black denim all right so this was released a week earlier than that and this one i felt was a little bit more practical a little bit more more my style okay well, let's get straight to the tags first and as always, you get the ABC Camo colorway tag with all bait products, especially if it's for guys. Right where you're from. Blah, blah, blah. Alright. And for jeans, they always come with this tag. It says here, Bathing Ape, 93, No Way. And blah, blah, blah. Denim for work and play. Material denim, all cotton, genuine and original. I hope you can see that. Sewn with the strongest thread, Bape made garment, Ape shall never kill Ape, and of course it has to be made in Japan. And on the tag itself, uh, sewn on the jeans, you can see this is the classic logo for their Bape denim. So this is here, optional bathing Ape garments, delivery, tough, city to city, better before, November, blah blah blah, motive order, the power of the Bape, urban terrain, which makes absolutely no sense at all which is why it's so cool now in the back pocket here you can see that it's sewn on the babe head in yellow thread you can see here it's really really nice quality unlike the one that was released subsequently uh, where they had the print i believe the print will normally will wear off over time whereas this one you can be pretty assured that this will stay on for a while all right Okay, uh, as I've never unboxed or reviewed jeans ever, so please excuse me if I miss out certain details. Alright, as you can see here, uh, front pockets. Okay, where should we start first? Okay, let's go with the waist first, alright? The back, you can see 1999 Type 02 regular. This is the model for some of the babes, so you can go with 1999, 1992, blah blah blah. I don't really know the history of it, but uh, as I understand it, that's how it usually the naming convention for some of the models. Alright, you can see here the wash tag, always. You can see here 100% cotton, nowhere, made in Japan. There's a bit of a, what do you call this? Uh, the blue leak on the wash tag, which is normal. Alright, this has not been worn, of course. Mm, and all that and then of course you've got the babe head in gold right there company name and then the size i believe is right here which is xl and behind you get the babe head in black it's pretty damn dope all right front pockets oh, where should we go this way okay front pockets you can see right here you got the babe star which is also sewn in very nice okay on the right side of the pocket you get your coin uh, compartment as well right so the babe star logo only appears on the left side you can see here i like the lines that goes across which is really nice and unlike some of the other jeans, this is not the zip model, this is the button up model. Alright. Um, I 
don't believe there's any uh, wording on these, which is fine. All right, you can see there. But the highlight of these jeans, of course, is the distressed portion of it. As you can see, the right and the left, super dope. The jeans that was released um, the week after this one was released, I think had the green camo. This is the first camo yellow. All right, you can see here the eight is popping out, which I think was a really cool touch there. So you can see right there, it's really nice. The cutting is absolutely beautiful. And right here as well, it's very clean. So right here, you can see a bit of the uh, first camo yellow, but as you can see, it's stitched in. All right, here as well. We focus as well. Okay, on the left side, it's a little bit more zigzaggy, I would say. You can see that it's very nice love how it looks and love how the way the first camel yellow just protrudes out from the um, the damaged portion of it it's really nice and this one actually looks as if like it's like a piece of uh, clothing cloth just draping over which is nice as well so on the back side Two pockets only the right cheek has the bathing ape head sewn in uh, the left side is normal uh, is there anything else I missed out the inside you can see here the detailing okay ape ape shall never kill ape Not this way around there you go ape shall never kill ape so a lot of times when they come up with fake bait, you can always see how whether your your piece is genuine is by looking at the inner stitching which has this. So it's pretty cool. Nice detail. It's a throwback to the original design of some of the bait denim during Eagle's time. Okay, ape shall never kill ape. I think you get the idea. So a bit of red, blue, and white there, which is really, really nice. Something that a few of us can appreciate. Right? So, okay, of course. The button here, as you can see, special babe head. I'm not sure you can see that. You got a babe head, you got some leaves here. It's really nice. Zoom in for you guys. There you go. So, a lot of fine details that uh, I really like with the babe denim. Uh, I used to have some babe denim back in the day, but I uh, kind of sold them. So, on the inside pocket, you can see it's a bit of a shade of camel, which is also really, really nice. Alright. So, back in the day, it used to come in various colors. You could even take the first camel yellow or color camel, color camel yellow or, or purple or red or things like that. So, this one comes in the shade of green, which is really nice. So I didn't know it had. Um, anything else? Okay, as you can see here, the stitching for the first camel yellow that kind of cops up from the outside right here. So, there's a back piece here really cool all right there you go that's on the left leg on the right leg same thing there you go it's the bomb so as you can see just now the ape shall never kill ape starts from the waist all the way down to the end very really nice right there you want to look at it you should never kill ape a bathing ape yes okay I think that's about it we have to send this for a wash so that it doesn't uh, kind of bleed onto my shoes especially my white shoes and yeah, hope you like the video. Follow me on Instagram 
and LKHOE23. Uh, give a like, subscribe, comment, and things like that. All the good stuff. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.